Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is another UK mod showcase for Transport Fever 2. Got lots to look at in this episode, got some a brand new train, uh, some new bus reskins and some train reskins as well. We're starting with this class 56, this is by Selmy. This, uh, he's a newcomer to the modding scene I think and this is his first mod which I think actually looked pretty good for a first attempt, it's not too bad at all. It's got the cab there, it's got the driver, not sure if the sounds are custom or if they're just a generic diesel sound from the library, from the Transport Fever library but even so it's still a pretty good mod. This is available from 1976 when the uh, class 56 began operating and yeah it's it's got plenty of detail in it it's got the cab and the glass and everything's pretty nice for a first attempt so let's have a look oh no let's not let's not bring that up pressing all the wrong buttons today we're going to head into a depot that's what we wanted to do we're going to look at a diesel locomotive and it's going to be that one there 3296 horsepower 80 miles per hour top speed 240 kilonewtons of tractive effort and it is actually colourable as well, it doesn't look too bad if we just bring up the one which is that one there. You can actually can actually colour them, we'll give it a green, just take a quick look at that. The uh, the Mark 3s don't work with line colour but this does actually, so the sides will be line colourable which is quite good if you just want to change the colour of it from the BR Blue. There aren't any other skins available yet but this is his first attempt and we'll see what else he can come up with as time progresses so yeah nice looking locomotive with line color ability as well as a bonus next we are going to head over and look at something what are we going to look at so the class 66 if i can find it it's in there we have the class 66 skin pack which has every single skin ever applied to every single livery ever applied to a 66 this is by fun clive now i didn't make a note of who did the original model I think I'm just gonna check yeah I usually try and leave notes for myself it's got uh, fun Clive CW315 and tank slapper listed as the creators for the original 66 model but the skin pack itself is done by fun Clive obviously it's gonna have different dates depending on when the livery was applied so this is the more modern Freightliner orange which yeah it looks it does look nice I'm just not a fan of the orange color because I much prefer the that one the heavy haul green yellow the more i think i think that still looks like quite a modern livery but we've got the full range of liveries available for this so if you head into the depot down here these are just tons and tons so we've got the 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 more modern freight liner and we've got the heavy power not the heavy haul the power haul the last of livery applied and then we've got like the standard we've got a freight liner east london express uh, Ocean Network Express, Racing Green Modern, Aggregates, Freightliner Blue, and I think these ones were the standard ones with it. So within this pack, the original, and within this livery pack, we've got every livery ever applied to a Class 66, which is nice, I think. It's good to know, it's good to have, and I do like, I do really like the 66 model, actually. I don't, I don't get to appreciate it as much as I'd like to because it you know the sounds and everything the detail on the model but obviously my northern powerhouse series has been mostly focused on passenger transport so I don't get to use freight trains that much if at all really so I think I might uh, I might need to change that in a future series do a lot more freight because there are some excellent freight trains available now especially UK ones now let's head over to some buses now the first one I want to do is, which one is it? This one, it's a bit of a correction. This one has been on the Steam Workshop for quite some time, but I did say in the last UK Mod Showcase that there weren't many buses from pre-2000, which I was wrong about. Obviously there are lots of pre-2000 UK skins. So this is GM Buses. This is a reskin of the MAN SL192 by Hexaid. Yes, I pronounced his name completely wrong in the last episode. Uh, but he does have a ton of buses so this obviously there'll be a link to this in the steam a link to the steam collection on the link description below and if you click on the uh, hex aid uh, workshop menu then you'll see there are loads of bus earlier buses i think this is 1992 for this one so pretty early than 2000 anyway so that's a little bit of a correction and it's probably something that i've just kind of 
passed over or maybe it came up before I started the mod U the UK mod showcase series the next one is a coach this time this is a skin pack by CW315 these are the man lion coaches so you will need the man lion you'll have to have subscribed to the man lion base coach uh, but yeah these are just some reskins so nothing's been changed the stats are still the same it's just some manchester based coach companies i believe and i do particularly like this this black one this looks quite nice yeah that's really nice so uh, i think what i'll do is i'll look through all the buses first and then we'll head over to a depot and take a look at them and the stats and things like that the next one shuttle deal we've got dv64 mlo has come up with another skin pack this is for the sataro c2 so this you'll have to subscribe to the mercedes-benz sataro c2 base model but dv64 lmo is doing a load of reskins for these it's a, the actual bus itself is a nice bus on which to do reskins and he is particularly good at doing the reskins this is like i said a first pack so there's a quite a few within this but obviously there's the ones we featured last week like the midlands and the diamond northwest as well so that's that's a first I'm not sure, can't not sure what first that is but we'll take a look in a minute and then there's another one here obviously there are lots more but these are just two two particular ones that i wanted to to look at that's a first summer set something or other so we'll head into head into a depot and we'll take a look first at so you've got the the man sl192 is just a vanilla bus but this one where is it where somewhere there it is <laughs> you've got gm south uh, with a couple of different variations orange front blue window things like that but there are other reskins available for this as well for you to check out then we've got the man lion coaches we've got two different variants of these which are just in you've got this one with a couple of different variants and then you've got a triple axle so the man lion standard coach uh, has a capacity of 11 which is quite small and the triple axle has a capacity of 14 which within the game again is quite small but as i noted noted within my bus tutorial you can it is possible to make a profit with just a capacity of 11 especially on intercity routes so even though they've got i would say a relatively small capacity even within the base game it is possible to make a profit with these buses uh, but down here we've got the four different the four different skins by cw so we've got healings international swans travel vip i quite like that one uh, swans travel is more of a just plane with some writing and then a yellow way one there so yeah just just a nice nice coach reskin basically with some manchester operators and then if we come down here we've got the mercedes-benz sataro base model and then we've got the first bus pack which contains a load so you've got first bus custom first somerset which we looked at uh, solent ranger steel livery olympian ipswich reds and a star livery there so the capacity after these that one is quite I'm not sure why that one's higher than that one but yeah good capacity of 30 which is a little bit higher than the standard pack but and some of them have capacity of 25 now 25 26 not sure not sure what the difference is it might be that there's some different door configurations on them let's take a look so they're, they're 25 and 26 i just want to have a quick look at that i think just to see what the difference is if any that i can actually spot so the green one has 26 <laughs> very technical let's just take a quick look at the side of it can i can i take a look at it there we are so that's got two doors on the side and what's the the other one where is the other one there's another one is that it that also has two doors on the side so i'm not sure what the difference is but they do have very slightly different capacities let's go back into that depot and take a look we could do got, we've still got the diamond northwest and the west midlands three door as well but it's just nice to see some uk skins for the sataro c2 because it is it is a good base model on which to base any bus reskin i think next we are going to look at what are we going to look at it's a little steam locomotive which is around here somewhere there we go this is the caledonian railway class 76 222 so it's three sets of two we two three sets of two wheels or three axles on the front there this is a early locomotive i think 1848 i'm correct in saying and it's even paired with some nice coaches as well double axle coaches there to go with the caledonian set it is again this is by steve m4 
who just seems to be able to find all the obscure early steam locomotives and recreate them faithfully. So yeah, it's just just an interesting steam locomotive. I'm not much not sure how much more I can say. You know, I'm not uh, a steam buff by any means, but I do at least try and mention one steam locomotive because you know they are worthy of mentioning they should be mentioned and they should be celebrated and used and this is quite an early one actually having looked at the stats before this one is is quite powerful i'm guessing i'm pretty sure it's 1848 or thereabouts and if we look at the stats uh, 45 miles per hour 279 horsepower 31 kilonewtons of tractive effort if we look at some of the earlier stuff that's available like the D13 that's 25 miles per hour 90 horsepower so it is quite a fa fast and powerful locomotive for the age and then we've got if we go to the passenger wagons we've got the Caledonia Railway four-wheeler their capacity of seven with the 45 miles per hour top speed to match the locomotive we look at what the Bavarian passenger car 31 capacity of eight what else what about the yeah the D13 coach six on that one i think that's there are a couple of the earlier ones anyway so it's pretty good uh, figures for an early steam locomotive but there we are we featured featured a few different things today but i'm going to leave you again i think with a boss because i do i am particularly fond of these reskins especially the first ones which i'll be putting to work on my uk northern powerhouse series but yeah just really really nice work on these ones by dv64 so i'm going to leave you with that and i'm going to say until next time bye bye